All right, guys. If you haven't seen the last video on me fixing the Murray, um, that was a totally different than what I'm doing now. Well, it's the same thing, but um, you saw that I probably fixed that thing. You may saw I don't know how much I posted. I only posted like one out of three videos. So um, anyway, I am having problems with this thing staying in gear. It's like butter all the way down, and that is actually really bad. Um, have to see what happened. The uh, fourth and fifth blew up in here originally. I tore it apart. I ended up found, finding out that I cracked the case. So I put a case on it. This tray here. I'm running into stuff with the camera. Um, is a, another MST 205. It's an MST 206 I converted to a 205. All that includes is just taking these gears out and putting spacers in. Um, so the only difference. Um, anyway, so I'm out here in the chat. We're going to tear it apart. We're going to get this main piece out of here because I found out when I put my Murray together, fourth and fifth were the same. Obviously, you see there's a big climax there all the way up on both sides. I, I might end up taking both of them so I can get some serious gear changes so I can actually feel fourth and feel fifth instead of having this fourth kind of glide into fifth. So hopefully, you might know some of my videos too. Um, anyway, uh, start tearing it out. I want to video all of this, so it'll be like a really long video, which, you know, so you guys may like it. If not, just skip through it. Oh, here, I thought I'd show you. These are the old fifth, fourth and fifth out of the Murray. And if you look at these, here's this one I want to point out. Okay. Okay, I'm not going to be able to build it right here. But, okay. There's, there's, uh, fifth. And we're going to call... Hope I have the gear to flip the same way. Alright, I think this goes in right here. It's something like that. There we go. Something like that. Get the broad idea. Look how identical those gears are. Very, very identical. So compare that to those two. Big difference. Probably won't give me any more speed, but it should give me a different it should give me a slower fourth, which I'm totally okay with. So anyway, enough chit chat. Let's get this baby ripped apart. I already got the wheels, the wheel clips out. I do have off-road Black Murray here. Um, mini racer here. Um, hey, uh, any, I want to ask a question for you guys. If you know anybody that uh, any uh, good website that sells a five horse race carburetor that you guys know is reliable, let me know because I really need one for the mini racer. All right, let's get this baby apart. Ooh, yeah. All right, buddy. Oh. We're using a bottle check. Alright. Nice big puddle of mush here. Here, what's that keys inside? Just store it up in there. The keys inside the wheel. Yes, I know. Let's see that. I hate this one. Anyway, the uh, biggest thing I want to do with this video is just prove to you guys that I actually do something. I don't have anybody do anything for me. I mean, obviously I have hope, but, you know, I'm, I'm sure some of you guys might be like, you know, somebody built that for them. So I just want to prove you guys I actually do work. I feel like that might be a complication that we might have. Let's get these turns over here. Yeah, I'll zip it off. Well, I can't, you don't need any fees. Wait, we need to oh, yeah. get the uh, shield out. I actually want to show you guys that. Might as well. Showing you guys everything else. Yeah, it's not a very good picture. Okay, that's really bad. Uh, yeah, yeah, put you guys on the tripod. Alright. Right here you can see my little um, shields, or mud shields. And you can see how the mud flaps are put together. These are golf cart pieces, and that's a, um, what is that, garden edging? It's been two years since I put that, or a year or so since I put that together, so. Anyway, let's use a bolt missing. We just self tappers, three eighths. Head, let's, uh, let's rip it apart. And I'm finding that it might be better if you guys are not lifted up. So let's put you guys down a little bit. You guys are probably thinking, why are we going upside down? No, I should clean this up. All right, back to the subject. Uh, hopefully it'll focus. There we go. All right, you guys see what we're doing here? So, 
Fonzie Jags. You can buy these mats. I think they're like $20. I'm not for sure that on uh, Jags.com. We'll be there within a week. Love this, love this mat. Really makes it easier and shit. Just like that, you guys can see it's just that easy to pop this little panel off. That's how I made it. It's just a piece of, piece of sheet metal. Cut out the shape of the wheel well. Um, let's see. Let me pull the shape of the shelf. I'll pull the butt off too. What? Oh, the belt's later. You know, oh, yeah. when the train falls. <coughs> we saw him this side. I'm so good. Boy, why does this seem so greasy? I guess that seal's leaking. Pull the front one off, yeah, that's the last one. We get the back one off. Or that front one. No, that front like one. Even. It's not. There is no front one. We should sit there. And then we'll put it on. These are just very simple half inch bolts. You guys probably all know that. that it, I know this is working on a lot more, but when you see people do this stuff. Hey, we're throwing them back here. Okay, I'll just, uh, I'll get some loose thing. I'm going to get the nut drive on it. Just, I got you. I think. Pull it loose because I haven't got this in there yet. Four degrees out here, or something like that, so it's not too bad. But, um, you touch cold tools, yeah, fingers yeah. are gone. Fingers are cold, it's pretty common. Like this, hang on, I see him come apart. Do you got that one all apart? I got it good, there's one bolt left. All right, grab the Oh, I got two bolts, so I gotta do the front one and then. I'll get that back one off. I'll see you I'll hold this one. Um. Nope, tighten that thing. Burger leaves first. I was going to say, um, th th it's really easy to do this with two people, but me and my friend here, we both try to buy ourselves, and we, we both agree that it's a lot easier to do with two people. Yeah. We can get it out in probably five minutes instead of 15 or 20. All right, struggle. Is that the front one? Yeah, that's the front one. All right, take it off on the axle. All right, we're going to All right, we have to shift our hanging, so we've got to pull back. I'm good to go. All right, clutch. Pull, pull back. It's hanging on the shifter. Nope. Alright, now we're going to slide back on it. Just go out. Okay. It's that easy. Alright, we're going to get this train out of the way since it's not tension right now. Alright, 
Here, his get very dirty. Yeah. And you lost his picture. It doesn't have a wash. Just sit up there on the uh, body. Take the wash off. That's oh, easier. I see it. Here. Is this a trans issue? Uh, I think my fire is here for a second. I'm freezing. All right. So here we have the current transmission is going in the Murray. Turned very smooth now that I fixed it, but let's see if we can aim you guys down at the tranny so you can see what I'm doing. Here we go. All right, now when you guys are uh, splitting one of these cases, um, you gotta remember don't get anxious or don't get uh, don't get greedy about it. Um, when, when you're trying to take apart, just don't get in a hurry. Take your time. You don't have to do it the way I do it. Um, I like to leave the entire shifting guts down inside the tranny. But you can take them up and off. Um, yeah. Alright, now when you're pulling these off, do a do a star a star pattern with the bolts so you don't crack the case. had this case apart a week ago, so less than a week ago. It's so nice having a screw gun. It used to take so long to do it with a wrench. I will leave a link in the description below for this impact. It's, it is awesome. I think this is a great little sponsor video for it. You know, I have nothing to do with you all. Alright, and do you remember when you're taking these apart, always uh, check and make sure you got all the bolts because there can be bolts underneath. And this transmission does have them. I will show you what's that. Oh, I had to drain some of the fluid out of this case too. How about that? There's two bolts sitting right there. Um, so you're able to just snap those off. Alright. Now, there is a, uh, let me leave the pulley on there. That's the other thing I want to show you guys. Don't buy an aluminum pulley. That's what happens. You can see where it actually just eroded through it. I did replace it with aluminum, but that's all I had at my tractor supply. So, all right, I did overfill this with fluid on purpose. It's because it helps it out a little bit. Uh, so let's go ahead and drain some of that fluid into the pan. It is brand new fluid, so I'm not going to replace the fluid because it's literally one. I only wrote it once with this fluid, in, so this is good fluid. Put it in there. I don't need a clean pan. I'm not going to use this when I dump in it. It's so cold. I'm going to dump a little bit. Like I said, if you turn that pulley on, it come out faster. You see just how cold this thing is. I'm going to stop there and see where we're at. Here, you can see that stuff is still wet from you doing it last week. No, no, here, wait. That's like. There we go. Alright. Yeah. It's like right on the line, so you might have a little bit of spillage. spillage. What's the word? Stop. What? Battery. Battery's dead? The battery still is, it won't have flash on it. Yeah, the charger up there. Here's your charger. Sorry guys, technical problems with the camera. Here I think making a video to see a lot of battery. Which I know that, but that's 
hope it doesn't kill the footage. All right, we good. We're back on. Uh, have a charger on. Thank the Lord. What is that? That gunky stuff. Okay. Let's go ahead and grab. Let's see where you guys are at on camera angle. Hi, right. more problems with the camera. Or phone. I'm using the phone, I'm not using the GoPro. And when you open one of these cases, you can do it in the top four corners. There is spots you can do it, but I've never had a problem with just going in these four key spots. So I go, that's just five. You can just see that that popped just a little bit. Wait till the noise stops, pry up a little bit. Go to your very back. Groove back there. There shouldn't be any surprises in here, so. Just want to get this done. And just like that, that's open. Alright. Here we go, guys. Now when I do this, I like to get the axle out, that's why I said you can have your differences here, so you can lift up. Pretty clean, brand new fluid amp, very clean. Ooh, heard a crunch there. Okay, I guess it's good. Whew, that broke up. Holy. It's aluminum, so. Okay. So you see that's your shifter. Alright, this is where I need to show you guys what I'm talking about. I don't know if I'm going to do this with the charger set up here. There you guys, you guys can see it. Alright. Look at those gears. They are the exact same. No change at all. Fourth and fifth are the exact same gears going by what this is. You know what that means? That gear is the same size as that fourth gear on there. That means this is going to go faster doing this gear swap. So, you guys want to know what I did? I'll just tell you. The. Where are you guys aimed at? Jeez. Alright. Um, the gears on a six speed go smaller. So we're going to use the gears of the six gear out of a six speed MST206. And that will give me the speed. So, um, you definitely always clean this surface. I'm not going to do too much to it. I'm just going to peel it off a little bit. Just enough to kind of grip. So I'm not after a lot. Uh, my theory is if the surface is clean enough and you put a little bit on it. It'll use the previous sealing, kind of like a gasket on an engine. You know, like on a brace, you don't change that. It is form a gasket though, so don't follow my instructions. These are very worn out though, these passages. So we're just going to change this entire mechanism. Alright, can you bring that train over here for me? Just the, the lower case. There's a shifter out of this one. I want to get this mixed up. Doesn't matter, but I thought I'd show you my walker also. Don't worry, that sound is okay. 
I just welded those real saw that. I actually took them to somebody because I didn't want to see it breaking. I actually took it down to a machine shop and had that. I told them to weld it. Haven't had a problem since. So, with all this being said, I got fluid dripping on my floor, which is okay. Yeah, we're good. I'm just going to go ahead and I'm just going to do an entire trade on this thing. Yeah, we're going to do that. I'm going to do an entire, just take the entire, both main guts out of this thing and trade them. If you do this right, these should be stuck in here because you glue them in. So you kind of pop those. Do the nasty stuff. I'll let that drip for a second. assembly with your shift keys and you don't know what a shift key is it is a uh, kind of like a key on a lawnmower engine you know you can have it on your blade anyway but instead of that key just sitting in one spot it actually goes through and clicks in each gear that's how one of these works these free spin I can't aim it down oh you guys can't see it huh no you can't okay. There we go. All right, these all free spin until that key that key kicks in and it locks that it, that gear in. I'll leave you guys back over to that one. Is it aimed over there? This one. All right. This one is not locked. It was, but it broke, so I'm not going to get into that. All right. <coughs> Chip assembly. I don't like how that's cut off. But it's not rusty wood steel system, that's all that's important because I don't use brakes. Okay, it's gonna be nasty. That let these mesh. Then this all should pop together. Make sure these little bushings are all seated where they're supposed to be. Very important. You will have a uh, your uh, input pulley will be really hard. Input shaft will be really hard to turn. So go ahead and set this training mat together. Alright, let's get This will be future. This will be the future trainee for Alfred and Blackberry. He will be testing out my first locker. Um, you want to grab that? I'm making him do all the carrying. I'm just sitting here making a video. So, sucks to be him. All right, guys. There's my welds. Really garbage, but hey, they look all right. Well, they don't look all right. They look strong, hopefully. But I hope they don't break on me when I'm riding, though. So, but. yeah, he gets stuck in my worn-out gears. Yep. So, yeah, that's about it. Um, the only problem I'm running into is the input shaft for this tranny is destroyed. Where the C-click goes on. So I'm not for sure what we do about that. I'm not welding out. I'm not welding the gear together. But then I'll never be able to change the needle bearing. So I'm not for sure. Well, he probably doesn't care about that right now. He's after getting it on the road. All right. Well, hopefully he doesn't say anything bad, but I'm going to have off road Blackberry just say some stuff or maybe talk about one of his worries or something while we're up to the house, grass to the house. So I'll be right back, guys. Yeah, guys, uh, um, if y'all check out my channel, uh, it's all for Buck Murray. I guess he's gonna put it in the description below. Uh, um, I, uh, probably gonna upload, uh, two videos I did earlier. Uh, I had to fix my rear end. 
on the Black Murray. I had to tighten up. Uh, you can see how Carver Long Boys Murray has two mounts on his, and I got one. It was that was on one that was on the right, and I switched it to the left so it actually bolt in, thread in more. So uh, the rear end that's uh, sitting right there, so y'all can see. Um, uh, soon, uh, hope we get that input shaft in. Uh, we're gonna take this locker, broken locker out. Uh, slot the uh, Cobra Longboots locker in, and uh, and um, we're gonna go on a ride soon. I don't know what day we're going. Uh, we're waiting on my buddy. Um, he's getting a dirt bike, so he wants me. He wants all of us to go with him, cause to make sure he don't get in, like break down or something, so we can uh, take him home and uh, hope this locker doesn't break. I do trust Cobra Longboy. His wells do look good, um, cause his uh, his dad has a uh, good welder, a good gas welder. I really need to get me one. Um, but uh, if y'all uh, would mind, go check out my YouTube channel, uh, please. Uh, I need to get subscribers in. Uh, if y'all comment below how my videos were, um, yeah, guys. Uh, but. We're going to wait on him to get back so he can clean half this uh, gear oil up. He had to use some of my gear oil uh, that I uh, had laying around in my garage, if y'all can see. But uh, he didn't tell me until he told me he built his locker. I got mad about that, but um, hopefully he yeah, didn't guys, see I'm back. <laughs> he can fish it, whatever he's doing. You can go ahead and go. Alright, buddy. Well, guess we'll end it. We'll conclude whatever he was talking about. Alright, let's get this funky crap out of the way. <laughs> That's my room, dude. <laughs> yep. Smash, you know. <laughs> but I'm gonna have a rear end if I don't build it for him. So, because he's using my original training to that. Which I want to put with the rest of the parts. I try to keep all of the original parts of this thing, I don't know why. I got all the original wheels and tires gathered up. Yeah, you have the Black Murray bottom case, don't you? Right there. Yeah, this one? Yeah. Well, to be fair... I ain't worried about it, but... It, I, I blew it. I blew the original Black Murray transmission up back when it was all mine. That seal never dried, dude. It looks like it's blood. That's funny. Okay, not, not the blood part, but the fact that... <laughs> All the gunk I put on there, and it didn't leak, even though it was wet. He slid that thing in when it was wet, and then one go ride. Look at that. Hey, it makes it easier for me. All I gotta do is wipe this stuff off. Partly, it's not doing too good, but it's all right. Get it in there. You also want to make sure you put C1 on these. I'll show all that. So I'm not worried about talking about it. Like I said, I'm I'm I'm, I'm going to go on a half it. I know you guys are probably like, why would you do that? You got all part, you worked on it, and what's the point of half of it? Well, because most likely with the way I run my mower, and the way I run it almost every single day, every single night, um, it'll probably be about two months before, and I'll be tearing this thing back apart again. It's not going to be long. It's just stuff that goes wrong. I'm going to try to go buy me, I really want to buy me an 820. There's a guy in Craigslist that's selling a whole lot. Two 820s and a couple MSTs for a hundred bucks, but he's like three hours away from my house. So I'm like trying to figure that out with my dad because he has to drive me up there a half a year, everybody. Oh, my voice guy. Half a year, everybody, and I'll be driving. So we'll be seeing videos on my car and stuff, which I still want to do. I still want to do a cold start on my one car. Um, but yeah. And, uh, this summer, me and, me and my grandpa, we're going to fly out to California. Obviously, I'm going through a lot of towels right now. Anyway, me and my grandpa, we're going to fly out to California. And we're going to drive home with a brand new car. My grandpa's going to just dump part of his retirement into my car. So, yeah, that would be kind of nice. Get a brand new. He's probably going to put me in, like, a Fusion or something. But I'll secretly have the Mustang off the side, you know. Just whenever I go to their house, i got to drive the Fusion. Or focus or whatever they buy me. Anyway, not the point. 
don't know why I'm just talking, but this is a lot of stuff I'm covering here, so I'm not trying to be bored, you guys. You know, I knew how to edit. I would do little skip throughs, but, you know, my neighbor that does have all the software, he's never home. So, yeah. Now I'm left with what you guys see. You should ask for a computer for your next Christmas. That's what yeah. you should do. I got a laptop. We should do it. I just got to figure out, like I said, software. Yeah. Need, need enough. I mean, that laptop will do it. I just got to, like I said, I don't... Don't know how. I'm sure there's... I think it's Rockin' DNA Productions. I'll give a shout out to him. Uh, he offered, I didn't take it, but he offered to edit my one video. And that was really awesome, but... I turned it down just because I didn't want to have to get into uh, you know, posting my email and stuff. That just doesn't sound like a good idea. And I'm sure you guys can see where I'm coming from. Um, you know, because I know, I know all you guys, you guys are probably, you know, out there, you know, watching my videos. Probably not even thinking about all the stuff that I could be doing with YouTube. I could be out there making money off of this stuff, which I'm not old enough yet, but, you know, I could do that, or you guys can, or, you know, I could be, you know, people could give me stuff on there, I could do all kinds of stuff with this channel, but the biggest thing I wanted to do is because for a couple years now, for about a year or two now, I've known Chug327, uh, haven't checked out his, any of his videos, check that out, he makes awesome off-road mowers, sorry, because you can consider this a shout out to him. Um, but check his channel out because, um, he can do all that editing stuff, I can't. Anyway, he has, a, he has an awesome little pond in his backyard, he goes through it. And I don't mean just a backyard, it's a big yard. I mean, come on, he swamped the V8 S10. You know, it was slam meant for the track and he took it through a mud puddle. That's just awesome. So check out his channel. Um, you know, his, he, his channel, he really helped me out, so... You know, I'll do whatever I can to help his channel out, too. So, uh, if you do go check it for my channel, please let him know that I did that. Um, yeah. I don't know why I do all this in the middle of the video, but, like I said. Like I said, you'd normally scrape all that gunk off of there, but like I said, I'm just going to leave it alone. Three hours for this video to post. All right, let's check. Make sure needle bearings are good. Not too bad. A little sloppy, but it's not too bad. Take all that out. All right. Well, that's about it. Let's see. I got one, two, three, four, five. Got that all in there. It's tight. Shift. Um, I put the shift leakage in there, which I didn't get to test out. What I wanted to test out. I wanted to put spring back in it. I think about how I want to do this. I might use that training as a uh, little test runner. Just to pop it together and make sure it's going to work. Set this off to some switch up here in my junk jar. Leave a comment below if you have a junk jar. And leave, it, leave, uh, leave another comment if you use a coffee, an old coffee bean jar for a junk jar. They work great. See if I can find a washer that will fit down in there, and I can make my. Uh... You know what? I just need to dump this out because I have a spring for one of these in here. I know I do. I really need to find it. Okay, let's go here by the mini racer and dump it. In the camera over here, would you? Yeah. Uh, this is a straight mess right there. <laughs> yep, good stuff though. Hard to tell what I put in here over time. A lot of self tappers. Hey, they're good to use though. Right. They're all brand new. They might be a little scraped up, but. And these are also the heavy duty powder coated ones too. These aren't the cheapos. Uh, I don't see much spring. 
And I remember the spring is smaller than my uh, pinky toe. So, a piece of a glass light bulb in here. That's nice. That's it. And look at that. Found a shift ball to go with it. That never that doesn't happen to me every day. Okay. Let's see, do I need to find a washer that fits the shifter? If it does, then hopefully it'll seat. If it doesn't, I don't think I'd be in trouble here. That does not fit. I'm probably the only person that has a problem, but I can never get these to stay together. So I want to build up a system that will hold it together. Wow, it's all installed. It's a really big washer. I need a smaller one. Here's Kikina. Hey, right, hey, right. Here's the goal here. I'm trying to find a washer the same size as that shaft. I don't want to go smaller because then it could possibly fall out and go somewhere in this tranny that you would not want the washer to go. Let's see, is that it? Nope. Alright, let's see if I can hurry this up a little bit. I don't like the NC. Lock washer though, that's a problem. Uh, ruins it. Okay, let's do this. Let's bring the hammer into this mess. It's good now. Let's test out this. Alright, this is just a test transmission, even though it is offered of blackberries. What kind of case do I have? Do I have Mariah's? I think I do. I don't know if I can ever get that set screw out there. It'd be really hard. Yeah. What do we run into? Yeah, I know you guys can see it. I can't. No, oh, I didn't see this all. Okay. Okay, we are at 38 minutes. This is a long one. You see how loose that is? That's a problem. Alright, let's see if I can break it out and try to do this. So I need to pull this off. Did that actually come loose? Or did it slip? I think it slipped. 